Detective Parsons? Yes. I see. We're on our way. Thank you for coming, Detective. Uh, this came in about an hour ago. What happened? We got a call about an hour ago from a girl saying this guy jumped through the window. Through? Can I see the body? Please. Well, the girl was right. He definitely went through the window. Did the fall kill him? Who is he? One Arthur McKenzie, 22 year old male, time of death around 8 34. Body sustained multiple injuries, several puncture wounds and broken glass, two broken legs, broken jaw, a couple of broken ribs, and extensive eternal bleeding. The cause of death, however, broken neck. Who called? A girl lived in the same flat as Arthur. She's still up in the flat with the two other flatmates. Can you bring him to the department? I want to take a quick look at the flat. I'll come with you. No, you go with the flatmates and ask him about Arthur. Don't let him talk to each other. Please state your name. Jean Dorsey. Claire Hensley. My name is Stephanie Grant. Please state your name. Uh, Jean Dorsey. I was one of Arthur's flatmates. I can't believe he did this. I know, this must be very shocking, but we need to get more information. Please state your name. Claire Hensley. I, why am I here? Because we need to know what really happened. Arthur is dead. He, he jumped through that window. Please state your name. My name is Stephanie Grant. Can you tell me what happened? No. I wasn't there. The only thing I know is that Arthur jumped out of the window. Did you and Arthur get along well? He was my boyfriend. Did you have any arguments before he died? No. Did you and Arthur get along well? We loved each other. Stephanie Grant told me that Arthur was her boyfriend. Steph and Arthur have been going out a long time. But Arthur's smart. He knew I was better than her. We had an affair, but Steph found out about us. Did you know Jane Dorsey was having an affair with Arthur? No. Well, yes. Yes, I did. Did Stephanie Grant know about the affair? I'm not sure. I... I think she did. Yes, she did. Clark, may I speak to you for a minute? Of course. What do we know about the girls and Arthur? Well, uh, Stephanie Grant and Arthur were... But Arthur was also having an affair with Jane Dorsey. Claire Hensley claimed to know about it, but she didn't think to tell Stephanie Grant. Stephanie hasn't mentioned it, though the other two girls do claim that she should have known about it. And that's all I've got so far. I'm yet to ask them about where they were at the time of the killing, or the order of events. All I know is that all three were in the flat at the time of the suicide. The murder. What? The report of the forensics just came in. Arthur McKenzie was stabbed. They found a puncture wound between his ribs, which is steeper than all the others. So one of the girls lied. One of them killed Arthur and pushed him through the window. Stephanie Grant has a strong motive. I'm gonna go back to the flat. Keep me on speaker. I wanna know what the girls tell you what happened. Sorry about that. What were you doing this morning? Why? Why is that important? I didn't see anything. I was in my room. States here that you called the police. Yeah, that is true, but I didn't see him do it. Jane told me what happened and she had a complete meltdown, so I just grabbed the phone. Did you hear anything before? Went to the kitchen to get some food. Jane was sitting there crying and the window was broken. She told me that Steph had found out about the affair and he just jumped out of the window because he couldn't take it. What were you doing this morning? Did you notice anything? No. I was in the shower and had music on. 
Then I went to my room to get ready and dry my hair. After that, I put my headphones on and then at some point, someone knocked on my door and that turned out to be the police. I wasn't even able to talk to the other girls. So you're telling me you heard and saw nothing? Yes. One of the other suspects mentioned an argument, something about an affair, and that that was why Arthur jumped out the window. There was an affair? I didn't know that. That suspect is lying. The last time that I saw Arthur alive was yesterday evening when we said goodnight to each other. Can you tell me exactly what happened this morning? Me, Steph, and Arthur had an argument. Why are you such a bitch? You can't say that to her. Oh, yes, I can. What are you talking about? You cheated on me. So what? I bet you cheated on me too, you whore. No, you cheated on me with her. Are you fucking kidding me? I am better than you. You know what? Just fuck off. I left the room and went to mine, but I went out again shortly after and saw Arthur stumble into the kitchen. I followed him and asked him what had happened. He said that Steph never wants to see him again. Before I could do anything, he just jumped through the window. I didn't know what to do and started crying. Then Claire came in and I told her what happened. The killer must have had enough time to stab Arthur and then wash the knife. Ah, cleaner. No fingerprints. So, who do you think it was? scaring me like that. Um, Stephanie Grant claims to have not known about the affair, while the other two girls confirmed that it happened. And Grant consistently told me that she was in the shower and after that in her room, so she has no idea what happened. Claire Hensley and Jane Dorsey, on the other hand, both tell the same story, that Arthur and Stephanie had a fight. However, only Jane Dorsey has actually seen the suicide, so Claire Hensley was just parroting what was told to her by Jane. So Grant has no real alibi, but she does have a motive. Revenge for a broken heart. For God's sakes. Ah, oh, this is still wet. So Stephanie Grant was telling the truth the whole time. I know who did it. Do you?